This is how to add multiple strokes to text or an object. So adding multiple strokes to text or an object at first seems really really easy, but if it's your first time doing it, you probably will run into some issues as the solution is really not intuitive at all. In this video we are going to solve these issues. So now let me demonstrate the issue you might have been running into since you are watching this video. And after that I'm going to show you the solution. If you want to skip ahead to the solution you can do so in the timestamps. So you might have been doing something like this. Selecting the text box with your text, right clicking the text, go to create outlines. And here you might have added the strokes in the appearance panel right here. So first we can add the first stroke right here and give it a weight. But already here we encountered the problem because as you can see, if I make the stroke wider, it will start to cut into the text until we can't see the text anymore. So we can try to balance this by doing a very small stroke. So now let's try to add in a second stroke and this is where it gets really funky. So as you can see, it cuts more and more into the text and also it just looks really weird. And maybe this is the effect you are trying to achieve and then it's totally fine. But as you can see right here, the purple is the actual text and the letters doesn't look anything like these letters right here. And this is because of one thing and the reason is that if we go to the stroke menu we are not able to align the stroke to outside. So why is this button locked? And I can almost promise you that you will not find the solution without any help. So now let me show you a really simple solution. Let's go to the other text box. So first. Let's select the text box. Then again right click the text box and click create outlines. Just as before. But now we are going to do one tiny step more. And that is going to object, going to compound path and click make. Then we can select the fill again and select the color that you like. And now you might be thinking this looks exactly like before and it does but one thing has changed. When we go to the appearance panel it now says compound path instead of group and this means that we can now go to the stroke menu create a stroke and now we can simply select a line to outside this means that no matter how much we bump up the stroke it will never cut into the text so now we can give the stroke a color and bump up the weight a little bit again and when we're happy we can go down to this button right here to add another stroke then we can adjust the color for this stroke Align the stroke to the outside and then adjust the size. And as you can see right here, now we can add multiple strokes, we can even add more if we want, but the font and the text stays the same no matter how wide the stroke is or how many we add. And the way this appearance panel works is that the strokes are layered on top of each other. This means that the smaller stroke should always be on top of the larger one. Because as you can see, if I hide this stroke, the purple stroke down here is 8 points wide around the text and now the white stroke is 4 points wide and is added around the text but on top of the first stroke. So the white stroke will not be added around the other stroke but is actually also applied around the text and is just sitting on top of the purple stroke hiding the purple stroke. Keep this in mind when you're adding your strokes as it can be a little bit unintuitive. And by the way, if you don't have the appearance panel open, you can find it up in window and go to appearance right here. Thank you for watching.